Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. I'm about to short Tesla. Look at this beautiful downside momentum in Tesla and look at the S&P 500. The S&P did not really respond, not yet. It's still holding up and Tesla is coming down, which shows it's relative to the market. It's very weak. So I'm about to short and I'm going to short 3000 shares of Tesla because I think it's probably going to continue coming down. Although it came down and closed the gap, I think it has some room to continue. So I'm shorting here 3000 shares expecting it to continue and I'm going to talk later about the relationship between Tesla and the S&P 500 as you can see here these are one minute candles and in the S&P 500 is a five minute candle so the S&P is kind of giving up a little bit right now Tesla starting to come down my PNL is right over here over four eight grand ten eleven it's still coming down 12,000 14 15,000 it is coming down 16,000 we're still going beautiful downtrend watch the S&P is moving also in the direction of closing the gap I'm over $20,000 in profit right now and I'm looking for the first chance of a pullback and once it's going to pull back which I believe is now I'm going to take my partial right here and leave 300 shares so that was a beautiful trade Tesla came down closed the gap and continued the S&P helped by coming down but Tesla was weaker now I le I'm left with 300 shares and I let it move higher why again because I think Tesla is relatively very very weak and now I'm up almost four grand with just 300 shares and I'm taking my second partial here leaving just 100 shares now the the, the end result I'm going to explain is great $18,000 in Tesla and I've got three other losers but it's a green trade due to Tesla now take a look at the S&P 500 on the top on the bottom sorry and Tesla on the top now before I move forward explaining the relationship between Tesla and the S&P 500 I do want to remind you that trading is extremely hard extremely dangerous and you shouldn't trade with money that you cannot lose and the results you've seen right now my results are very untypical I'm a very experienced trader I could make money but you know basically most traders and especially newcomers are normally losing money so please be extremely careful now these are five minute candles my profit was made during the first two five minute candles in Tesla now as you can see the S&P started in green came down close the gap which was a good enough reason for Tesla to come down very strong and also close the gap and continue afterwards and then you can see that the S&P had a relatively small green candle but this green candle took it over the highs the respond in Tesla was that Tesla moved higher and if you don't know the, the you know the, the, there are there is some connection between what Tesla is doing actually every stock over ten dollars and one million shares of volume a day remember this rule if that's an extremely important tool is responding to the S&P 500 it's approximately 60 percent of the movement of the stock intraday has to do with the S&P 500 so the S&P moved up over the highs Tesla moved up but not over the highs it did not touch a new high and, and in fact you can see that the S&P continued to move higher not by much but continued to move higher and at the same time Tesla compared to the S&P 500 relative to S&P 500 was very weak it moved sideways and a little bit down and then came the red candle look at the red candle in the S&P 500 once you have um, a stock that is relative to the S&P 500 week now if you take a look at the S&P 500 daily new highs and Tesla daily uh, no uh, still is trending lower Tesla pulled back up recently on the daily chart because the S&P just moved to new highs but Tesla is in a downtrend mode it's very important to take a look at and see that on the daily chart of Tesla and the S&P so you can see that the S&P new highs Tesla is downtrending but did move up recently few days because the S&P moved to a new high so Tesla relative relative to the S&P on the daily chart is weak and on the intraday chart also weak so you you have two things coming in together one the S&P just coming down with a very strong red candle and then Tesla which again relative to the S&P is much weaker is crashing down that's the point where I took my uh, second partial the last 300 shares in Tesla actually still holding 100 shares in Tesla so again you start with the, with the daily 
you see that uh, Tesla is trending lower, the S&P is trending higher. So again, Tesla is relatively weak. And then you move to the intraday and you look for some clues. And the clue came right over here during these candles when the S&P was moving higher. Tesla was going sideways and slightly down. And then came the big red candle, which, take, which moved Tesla to a new low. So did you like this video? If you did, please give us a thumb up. And you can also subscribe to this channel. You have the subscribe button right over here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And there's plenty of links right here below this video and you may comment and I will be very happy to answer your questions. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.